growing up in a bilingual household, uh, languages were always something that was appreciated and cultivated and it was a natural fit for me. I first thought I could do this, this is just translation, interpretation, I speak two languages, why not? So I specialized in tourism and hospitality and I came into that because I grew up traveling a lot. My parents really like to travel and even though those translations are super, super challenging, they're a lot of fun. I did a big project for a telephone app. I was able to come up with all these terms that didn't exist before and that I now know hundreds of thousands, millions of Germans are using the terms that I came up with. So that was one of the funnest projects I've done. I think the interpreting project that I found very worthwhile and, uh, and, and was also quite difficult was uh, working with asylum seekers on the island of Lesbos in Greece. That was something that I learned a lot from, that I found very worthwhile. I am a court interpreter, so um, I see my job being a very, very critical. Um, in a way, I hold people's fate in my hand. One of my favorite translation projects in this last year was actually um, subtitling adult diapers, <laughs> adult diaper commercials. It was a really interesting project. Actually, I learned a lot more about adult diapers than I thought I would ever need, and then got to um, receive all of the Google advertisements on my computer for the next week with adult diapers. Everything is interesting. I think this whole job, this profession is interesting. It never gets dull. You always get to learn something. Um, so it's just always keep you on your toes. I think really what translators and interpreters do on a daily basis is pretty remarkable. That's why I hold myself, in fact, all the interpreters and translators to a very high ethical and professional standard. And I think ATA is all about upholding that and raising the bar. I live in a very remote area in Oregon and people, when I tell them what I, that I'm a translator, they every time say, you're what? What did you say? What did you say? And then I say, well, I'm a translator. And they say, oh, you must be traveling all the time. And I say, no, 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 no. I'm a translator. I'm, that what you're thinking of is interpreter. I would say translators write, interpreters talk. I'm much more of an interpreter than a translator. I tried, I started out as a translator, but I do better out in the field than behind a computer. Once I tell them what I do and that I work at home and I set my own hours and I'm my own boss, they say, wow, well, that's really cool. You know, you can do that here in this small town and all your work comes through email and you don't need to go to an office every day. You know, they think it's great. You can't communicate with the today's world unless you can communicate in the other person's language.